Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Rest From Off The Cuff. Today we have another review for you from the brand Spinnaker. A little bit about them, they are a brand that's offering very classic nautical design aesthetic um, in an affordable modern package. Now this particular type of watch, of course, is a dive watch, some key common characteristics and design language when looking for a dive watch. You're gonna want water resistance, typically through some type of screw down crown. You're gonna want something that's tough, legible, with a dive bezel and a diver's extension if on bracelet is always nice. This particular model is is the Amalfi Diver, um, and this is the Blue Dial variant. Now, a little bit about that. Uh, this model pretty much celebrates the Amalfi Coast along the southern edge of, it of Italy's Sorrentine Peninsula. It pays uh, some homage to its namesake with a modern diver design in traditional heft and overbuilt Italian dive watch scale. So of course, when you're thinking about Italian divers, you're thinking probably about Panerai, and those are big, oversized, big, chunky tool watches. Now, what this watch does differently, I think that Spinnaker, uh, I think they really hit the nail on the head with this one in particular. Um, not particular to my taste, but I think what they're doing is very interesting with it. Basically, they took that kind of classic modern um, you know, dive watch formula, but they actually scaled it up. Um, like this right now, when I'm looking at it, it reads like a 42 millimeter watch, but you're gonna see once I have it on ha in hand and on wrist, it's actually quite a bit larger than that. Um, so this is really for the big watch lover who might not really be into some of the more ex eccentric stylings that you're gonna see in some larger watches. Some larger watches are just, you know, really, could, some might even consider overstyled. Here, you're gonna have a very restrained uh, restrained and refined uh, layout, uh, but actually in a big, bold case. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get this piece in hand for a closer look. Okay, role. let's go ahead and get this piece here. As you can see, um, just a little bit by the scale in my hand itself, this is a very, very large watch. Um, the uh, of course the specs did fly across the screen earlier, uh, but you know this is a 46 millimeter watch um, in diameter with a 52 millimeter lug to lug and a 15 millimeter thickness. This thing is uh, pretty serious when it comes to the size and the scale of this timepiece. Um, but I think the actual styling of it, it, it is actually quite subdued. It, it is uh, in this particular color combination, I think quite vibrant and playful, but I think the styling itself um, isn't over the top as you would see in some larger uh, watch offerings, which I think is, is a bit refreshing. Now, these actually are only going for $300 direct from Spinnaker, which, uh, I mean, considering the specs, uh, is pretty pretty impressive, guys. Um, the case is actually brushed with uh, these nice polished, high-polished uh, chamfers there. Um, not, uh, s not the sharpest by any means. I'm not talking, hey, this thing is comparable to, uh, you know, to Tudor or Grand Seiko and fit and finish, but it is really nice to see that really high polished chamfer. I think that's something that Spinnaker has been really stepping their game up with and, and kind of giving the people what they want from that perspective, because that's just a really nice thing that I think um, universally uh, shows just the level of care and finish uh, when you are looking at a timepiece. So uh, pro props to Spinnaker for that one. Now, uh, as far as the crystal goes, this is sapphire. Again, you know, at under 300 bucks, pretty nice. Um, and then uh, it does have a, it's flat of course with an AR coating uh, inside and then you do have um, 120 clicks unidirectional okay pretty nice there not too much play um, oh, nice. That actual last click lined it up perfectly there. So, um, really nice from that perspective. It does have an engraved uh, aluminum insert there. You can see with uh, the dual kind of color tone motif. And then it does have the uh, illuminated pip there at uh, the 12 o'clock. Now, as far as the dial hands and loom go, this actually does have a really cool layered matte blue dial. It has the date at 3 o'clock there uh, and a nice black date disc, which I think is quite refreshing. I think people will often default to making a white date disc because they figure that it will add some balance with the actual um, 
the rest of the indices there but i actually do think the negative uh date there with the black background is nice because the actual font and writing on the dial is white you see automatic is in white so i think it's nice to actually have of course now the uh hand the minutes hand is covering a bit um i think that's actually a, a nice touch and i think it does uh make it look a, a bit more modern and and uh, uh nicely uh bold uh, but still quite legible uh, when it comes to the date complication uh you do have the matte brushed hour hand with painted minute and seconds hands and this actually does use c3 swiss super luminova it is water resistant to 20 atmospheres or 200 feet uh, i'm sorry um 200 meters or 660 feet um you know honestly at this size it'd be nice if this was thing was closer to like 500 or a thousand meters of water resistance but you know at the end of the day not everyone's is is really going to even dive past probably 40 millimeters recreationally not 40 millimeters but 40 meters <laughs> recreationally um so it doesn't really matter but i think it would be nice to kind of explain some of the heft that goes with this would it would have been nice if they actually had uh you know of course some of the street cred with uh extra depth uh, resilience there I think would have been a nice touch uh, so a little bit of a miss from that perspective for me um, as far as the bracelet goes it does have you know everything is solid um, here solid end links and whatnot um, the nice thing is it does have that female end link there so the end link isn't going to extend the length lug to lug it's actually going to help it drape it uh, actually does have a 24 millimeter lug width so um although not as common as a 22 millimeter lug um of course the scale of the watch it actually is going to make it appear uh smaller uh because of the thicker band there in in respect to the ratio of the uh, watch case or, or the watch head now uh, the connectors on this of course are just push pin connectors nothing special it does have a double locking clasp there uh, with the fold over and the push button and it actually does have a divers extension which is a nice touch um, nothing super fancy from that standpoint there and this is about as far as you'll actually be able to adjust uh, this particular divers extension in uh, without it actually hitting the internal mechanisms so although you do have you know up to five micro adjust holes basically you're you're going to be in at about three deep before this divers extension will actually get in the way so uh you know uh, not gr the greatest uh thing there but of course um you know they do have multiple skews so i'm sure that uh, you know, this would actually, without the diver's extension, would be quite a bit more adjustable. And with this, the thickness of these links here and the length on them, um, it is nice to have any micro adjusts uh, because there aren't actual um, half links there. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get this piece on. The okay, wrist. as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it's actually not too overpowering. Um, you know, for being such a large watch at 46 uh, millimeters in width and 52 millimeters lug to lug, uh, it actually is not huge wearing. I've actually had watches that were actually smaller that wore uh, maybe close to this size, at least in the way they feel. Uh, a couple of Helsons that were like 42 millimeters that really, really wore much bigger and not necessarily in a bad way. They just definitely felt like much larger watches. Here, this is a much larger watch, but it does give you the impression of a smaller one. Um, I'm sure some of you are you know, anxiously and vigorously typing, that thing is huge, get it, get it off your wrist, it's a dinner plate and whatnot, but uh, I will face the fire for that just for the people that might be interested in this piece uh, Of course up close. It's going to look quite large because of uh, you know lens distortion typically when you're getting that But what one thing you can't see that's actually also quite large is that beautiful high polished bevel That is playing with the light really really nicely without uh, very much work for me as far as angling uh, or trying to really beautify uh, the angles or the looks on this watch so as you can see uh, it actually does lay quite flat 
uh, and, and relatively close to the wrist. It does have a bit of a turn down on the lug there, so there's not too much space in between. And the bracelet does actually drape pretty well, although it doesn't taper very much. I think if it did taper, it would actually make this watch head look hugely oversized probably. Um, so I think this actually does a pretty nice job of tricking your eye into thinking it's actually a little bit smaller. Um, the nice thing is, is it feels quite hefty and, and really a lot of people, uh, you know, really do, uh, that's, that's kind of one of the precursors to, uh, uh, you know, a quality, uh, um, uh, mechanical timepiece. Uh, sometimes when it's a little bit smaller and thinner, even though it might not actually be any cheaper, uh, or by any means, uh, lower in quality, that that heft is something that your brain just kind of it separates a quartz watch from a mechanical watch and this thing definitely has the heft and the weight to feel quite substantial on the wrist although uh, i wouldn't call it luxurious by any means it definitely has some heft and it's something that you won't forget is there and if you like the style again or you like the size or let's say you have an eight inch wrist or above you know but you just don't want some crazy gold plated you know thing with like bubbles on the dial um this is something that's definitely an option i think um so i, I think that's definitely where uh we worth mentioning there so let's go ahead and actually set this piece up for some loom shots because it does have a quite uh nicely applied okay loom. let's go ahead and hit the lights as you can see it does glow quite bright so not only is the dial large but it does actually have large amounts of loom applied which i think is quite nice one thing i do also like to do during my loom shots is the low light transition to give you a nice idea of what this watch will read like and render like as far as the color palette goes in less than optimal lighting and then with actually the harsher lighting on here with the higher contrast and the finer detailing you're going to see in the brushing it actually gives you an idea of kind of how fine that finishing actually is because uh, the finishing does tend to get washed out when you're in that kind of nice studio lighting setup there so if you follow the light over the brushing there you can see nice and uniform nothing too crazy but you do see also that high polished bevel uh, is, is actually quite nice and does really really hit and contrast really beautifully as the light kind of dances over this case you can also see that the watch is actually quite legible even in that transitional lighting there with uh because of the color palette that they chose i think a uh, really nice separation from the indices and hands and whatnot um so if you do tend to take things actually out diving uh, i think it's nice to know that there will be a quite legible watch for you even kind of in some murkier conditions now uh, one thing also that's important to note is that blue dial which is actually quite vibrant um and we'll read as such there as you can see that matte finish uh really absorbs light in a certain way um that really just the brighter it gets the you know the brighter lighting on it the brighter it's going to get versus a sun ray where you're going to have some darks um, some lows and some highs there um, in the transitional here you're essentially going to absorb that light the nice thing is there is quite a bit of dimension to the dial because of kind of that stepped um, inner uh, section there which is nice and does add uh, quite a bit of visual interest so let's go ahead and get the lights back on here uh, talk about this bad boy and, and close this up on some closing thoughts on the wrist very bold wear of course tons of presence and personality clear sporty vibe there um, as far as model variants go there's various options definitely check their site for availability comparable models i'm not even going to bother really um, there's tons of big chunky dive watches out there this is one of them but it's actually quite affordable and it actually um, has decent specs you know you, you're getting the sapphire you're getting a hacking hand wind movement um, so I think that's really nice. A really bottom line, uh, you know, Spinnaker, they took the design cues of kind of your typical, I'd say, 42 millimeter modern dive watch and bulk them. They basically bulked it up uh, for a larger wristed watch fan um, or just people who just in general dig 
big chunky divers. So um, if this is something that you might be interested in, this could be something you love. If that's a formula for you that is a disaster, then you're probably not gonna like it. Um, but I think there's definitely a market for it. And um, you know, it's it's nice to see a brand just continually come out with and, uh, and really offer so many different options uh, to the community. And I think they've, uh, Spinnaker, do a great job, of course, of, uh, you know, even getting uh, review models out to YouTubers so they can share them with you guys. So with that said, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.